Yes, we are back with Why in the Morning and uh, the top, uh, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning and we'd like to focus on the public transport system. So the public transport system dates back to the 1930s in Kenya and it has evolved over time and now we have over 80% of Kenyans using the public transport system. And talking about evolution, now we are looking at having the introduction of the bus rapid transit. We have the chairman of the uh, Matatus and Border Border Owners Federation in studio with us to talk more about this and uh, let him introduce himself. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Yes, my name is Kushian Mushiri. I'm the chairman of the Matatu and Border Border Operators Federation. And uh, yes, I'm here to discuss matters Matatu and Border Borders. Mm -hmm. Yes. In general. Yeah. Right, so uh, we've had the, the birth of uh, the Matatu and Border Border uh, Operators Federation uh, right after there were complaints about uh, the Matatu's o Matatu Owners Association of Kenya. All right, uh, so maybe you can paint a picture for us. Uh, what, led into the, what led to the formation of this federation? Because uh, Kenyans already knew about the Matatu Owners Association, so we are, uh, they were kind of getting confused in, the, in between here. Uh, I understand that. Okay. I understand the, Ken uh, the confusion that okay. uh, Kenyans were in. Mm -hmm. And this confusion was brought about by our laxity mm -hmm. as, the, uh, as the Matatu owners. Mm -hmm. You see, for the last 35 years, mm -hmm. we've allowed cartels mm -hmm. to run this industry. Mm -hmm. Anytime you talk about issues Matatu, mm -hmm. the first thing that will come to mind mm -hmm. of any Kenyan is the name Kimutai, mm -hmm. the name Bogwa. Mm -hmm. People who have been here mm -hmm. for over, the, uh, over 35 years, mm -hmm. They dealt, they started dealing with the Kenyatta, mm -hmm. they dealt with uh, Moi, mm -hmm. they dealt with Kibaki, mm -hmm. they dealt with, uh, uh, with Uhuru. Mm -hmm. Now they want to even deal with the grandson of Uhuru. <laughs> These are the kind of things that uh, we, we, we've now said they have to come to a stop. Mm -hmm. Because by then, you see, the Matatu industry mm -hmm. is uh, self-regulated. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody is uh, gets uh, is up to get something for himself. Mm -hmm. So we didn't very quite much rely on uh, associations or mm -hmm. anything. So uh -huh. that's how we were able to allow them uh, uh -huh. sneak through mm -hmm. and uh, purport to represent us. All right. But the minute they stepped on our toes, uh -huh. and I can tell you they stepped hard. Uh -huh. They went to government. Mm -hmm. Some few elements in uh -huh. government. Uh -huh. Uh, high placed, mm -hmm. and uh, they told them that uh, here we have a deal. Uh -huh. uh, the Matatu owners have mm -hmm. agreed to move out of the CBD. Uh -huh. They've agreed to face out the 14 seaters mm -hmm. uh, so that we can decongest the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, the government, through the, uh, the CS transport mm -hmm. and the architect of this thing, mm -hmm. uh, uh, PS Nemre Hinga Mwaura. Mm -hmm. Uh, took those people, mm -hmm. those uh, are a group of 18 cartels. Mm -hmm. They took them to uh, now 16. Mm -hmm. uh, they took them to China, mm -hmm. took them to Bogota, uh -huh. took them to South Africa, mm -hmm. where they even mm -hmm. uh, were able to talk about these buses, uh, get a price for them, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why we are here. All right. Yes. All right. So, uh, are you against uh, them working with the government, or are you against? Uh, oh, let me phrase it this way. So you guys are not going to collude with the government in terms of providing better transport solutions for the Kenyans? Uh, I think that is far from the truth. Uh -huh. We will work with government, uh -huh. but we, as the real owners of uh -huh. these vehicles, uh -huh. as the real investors, uh -huh. and as the real elected officials. Uh -huh. You see these guys uh -huh. did not go there so that they can help the Mwanainchi. Right. Case in example, uh -huh. these buses, these 64 buses that are on, in the high seas coming uh -huh. to Kenya, uh -huh. the government through the CS uh -huh. Masharia uh -huh. for transport, uh -huh contacted uh, GM. Mm -hmm. They contracted GM. GM uh, contracted uh, a, a well-known company, mm -hmm. Lab Singh Haman Singh, mm -hmm. which is just there near the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Mm -hmm. Those are renowned people who make uh, buses for East and Central Africa. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, Kenya, locally in Kenya, mm-hmm. they made those BRT buses. Mm-hmm. If you want to see those buses, mm-hmm. you just go to GM. Mm-hmm. Those buses are there, the BRT, bu- uh, the high capacity buses. Mm-hmm. They are there. Mm-hmm. They made them, but mm-hmm. PS, Mwa, uh, PS Hinga Mwaura mm-hmm. and the group of, uh, there were 18. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were 18, of which after the, six, uh, the 18, mm-hmm. six, or uh, only six members had vehicles mm-hmm. and two of those members mm-hmm. are the ones that came out right. and gave us this information and told us guys as you are sleeping mm-hmm. our bath right has been sold mm-hmm. uh, the, the 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 remaining 16 mm-hmm. colluded with the ps hinga Maura mm-hmm. and decided that these uh buses that mm-hmm. have been made locally mm-hmm. by our local industries mm-hmm. will not benefit them mm-hmm. why here in Kenya, they were worth less than 10 million, mm-hmm. actually below even 8 million. Mm-hmm. But in South Africa and China, mm-hmm. they were getting a deal of 25 million. Mm-hmm. And this is not the first time we are hearing of such a case yeah. scenario in this country. Now, uh-huh. your guess is as good as mine. Uh-huh. Where is this, this uh, <laughs> extra 17 million going? Mm-hmm. So this is not about uh, bettering, mm-hmm. bettering the transport uh, system in, in Nairobi or mm-hmm. CBD or in Kenya. It's about some selfish individuals Mm -hmm. who want to make a killing Mm -hmm. out of the government will Mm -hmm. to 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 better Mm -hmm. the transport industry. Right. We appreciate the whistle blowing, uh, but would you consider the federation having a national appeal as compared to the Matatu Matatu Owners Association of Kenya? Because we've known this uh, Matatu Owners Association for a while. It has stuck. We grew up with it. Uh, So do you you consider? No, we've not grown up (laughs) with it. We Uh were born and found it there. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh It has existed uh, almost 40 years. All right. So do you think your federation has that national appeal and can represent each and every Matatu? owner from uh, Mombasa to Busia, from uh, Namanga all the way to Turkana? It's not a matter of believing. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact because the federation, Mm -hmm. even uh, its uh, representation, Mm -hmm. like now, this federation is for Matatu and Boda Boda operators. Mm -hmm. Now, this federation is formed Mm -hmm. of associations, Mm -hmm. Circles mm-hmm. and companies limited mm-hmm. from Kenya, and uh, just to 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 be clear, well, we recently had uh, gov- His Excellency Governor mm-hmm. Ferdinand Oitito mm-hmm. of Kiambu, mm-hmm. who has uh, for the last two months mm-hmm. been coming out strongly because mm-hmm. he understands that. Kenyans have been duped, mm-hmm. and even the government has been duped by cartels mm-hmm. through this PS Hinga. Mm-hmm. The, the, the CS has been misled mm-hmm. into being told things that uh, are not true. Mm-hmm. Now, Governor Waititu uh, realized mm-hmm. that the problem we were having in mm-hmm. this country mm-hmm. is that we had so many uh, associations mm-hmm. trying to fight the cartel, mm-hmm. the cartels. Mm-hmm. And uh, he took the initiative, mm-hmm. his county being one of those counties being affected by mm-hmm. by this uh, BRT, mm-hmm. we call it the Namata, mm-hmm. where we have uh, we have five uh, counties. Mm-hmm. That is Kajiado, mm-hmm. Machakos, mm-hmm. Na- Nairobi, mm-hmm. Muranga, and Kiambu. Mm-hmm. These are the five counties being affected now for uh, the pilot project. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So he called her, uh, uh-huh. he, he convened a meeting, uh-huh whereby he called all those counts, the county officials that are that are affected mm-hmm. but it became better mm-hmm. the whole uh, the 12 uh, mount kenya counties mm-hmm. uh, heads all decided to come to kiambu mm-hmm. at ruiro stadium mm-hmm. whereby we discussed all issues that are affecting this industry, mm-hmm. including those cartels mm-hmm. that have been able Everybody to penetrate was in included. government. Everybody was included, mm-hmm. the 12, the uh-huh. from the 12... Uh, counties that are affected 12 so far. counties, mm-hmm. yeah, of which five are the ones that are adversely affected. Mm-hmm. They came, and the membership decided to conduct an election uh-huh. so that we can have representatives mm-hmm. who can go to government mm-hmm. and uh, be there to to work with government because mm-hmm. we are not opposing mm-hmm. the implementation of the uh, of the BRC system. Mm-hmm. Or we are saying that we 
are these real stakeholders. All right. We you need are to the be ones involved. that need to be involved. Uh-huh. Those guys that are seated there in the apex bodies uh-huh. are cartels. All right. People who don't even own a border border. Uh-huh. And don't but, understand but the, the transport system. Are, uh, let me tell you. Uh-huh. This whole thing you are seeing here in Nairobi, uh-huh. it's a well-orchestrated plan. Uh-huh. I am even sure that His Excellency Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko, uh-huh. whom I have a lot of respect for, uh-huh. I have gone to him personally uh-huh. when I had problems with some of my buses and he assisted me. Uh-huh. I can tell you he's been misled uh-huh. because there are people, even this pushing of the 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 county parking fee mm-hmm. from 300 shillings mm-hmm. to 200 shillings which mm-hmm. was done in the assembly mm-hmm. i can tell you for a fact mm-hmm. those can the, those few country uh, assembly members that pushed for that mm-hmm. are being used by those cartels mm-hmm. so that they create an artificial crisis mm-hmm. in nairobi so all these things are planned let me finish mm-hmm. the problem we have in nairobi mm-hmm. In the CBD, ex- especially mm-hmm. of uh, high traffic congestion, mm-hmm. is caused by the high intake mm-hmm. of private vehicles, those mm-hmm. that we call personal vehicles mm-hmm. or actually vehicles mm-hmm. that are coming into the CBD. Mm-hmm. We've done a survey uh-huh. and we found that out of every 50 vehicles that uh-huh. access the CBD, uh-huh. 50 private vehicles, uh-huh. is only one matatu. One matatu. It beats logic. All right. How and sometimes you only have one passenger in one yeah. personal vehicle. Mm-hmm. So most of the time there's only, even in my own private vehicle, the one that I came using, <laughs> actually I had to, uh, we were two, just me and, uh, and my driver. Uh-huh. And I had to abandon it uh-huh. at Garden City uh-huh. and took a border border to town. Uh-huh. Because had I not done that, I would have arrived here at 11. So there are other ways to approach uh, the decongestion problem. Yes. Before we delve into the decongestion problem, uh, I'd like to know, apart from hosting out these cartels and the people who are involved in uh, uh, in manipulating the system, wh- what is the mandate of the Federation so far? What can we look up to the mandate uh, to do for us as, as the people who use uh, the public transport? As we are talking now, mm-hmm. the Federation mm-hmm. is already has uh, already has its uh, leadership elected, mm-hmm. whereby I'm chairman. Mm-hmm. There is a border border uh, border border guy who has taken the deputy chairmanship. Mm-hmm. We have representation downward mm-hmm. from both the sectors, mm-hmm. and uh, the problems that we are facing mm-hmm. now that we are together, we realized mm-hmm. that the border border and matatu is one industry. Mm-hmm. Because where we as the Matatu people drop passengers, mm-hmm. the border border take from there. Uh-huh. And where the border borders drop, the Matatu take, take from, from there. there. All right. So we are one industry. Uh-huh. And almost uh, most of the border borders are owned by our Matatu drivers. Mm-hmm. And even some border border riders have Matatus. Uh-huh. So we are one industry. Uh-huh. And the problem we are facing, especially here in Nairobi, mm-hmm. let me tell you, case in an example. Mm-hmm. In Nairobi, they used the excuse of mm-hmm. insecurity to mm-hmm. drive out the border borders. Mm-hmm. But the truth is, the uh, the the United Border Border Association mm-hmm. and the safety uh, the uh, Border Border Safety Association of Kenya, mm-hmm. those two groups had matched and uh, made uh, uh, even went to the governor's office where mm-hmm. they were somehow blocked by most of the officials. Mm-hmm. But they were able to present. Mm-hmm a document mm-hmm. whereby they told uh, the county government mm-hmm. allow us have roots mm-hmm. let us manage our roots mm-hmm. any suspicious uh, border border or motorbike that comes into the cbd mm-hmm. we know ourselves mm-hmm. we shall identify that border border mm-hmm. those that are used by gangs mm-hmm. criminals mm-hmm. we shall identify mm-hmm. and we shall work mm-hmm. with the, pol- uh, the, uh, the national police service mm-hmm. so that once we identify, we call them, they come and take them. Mm-hmm. But now, since they're facing out of the border borders from town, mm-hmm. the truth is even you, you know, I've uh-huh. come with a border border myself. Uh-huh. So how are they faced out if they're still in town? Right. If you go to town, there are a lot of border borders. Mm-hmm. Fact be told, the border borders that are there mm-hmm. belong to most of the county officials and uh, security or, or operator mm-hmm. or people. Uh-huh. Those border borders pay a fee. Uh-huh. of 200 shillings right. 
to those uh, uh, small small county officials uh -huh. so that they can be allowed for their border borders to operate in town. Uh -huh. Any border is border this, that is, is not, legal, this, this I'm just, let me uh -huh. tell you the truth on the ground. Uh -huh. Any border border that does not belong to these small, small uh, county officials uh -huh. is always uh, detained. Uh -huh. People have been maimed. Uh -huh. You are on a border border, umeangushwa chini, uh -huh. umevunjika mgu. Uh -huh. And once a border border is detained, I can tell you na right now in Nairobi, it uh -huh. has become low uh -huh. five thousand shillings five thousand shillings if you which is money they don't even make in a day yeah uh -huh. and if you don't part with the five thousand shillings uh -huh. your border border is detained uh -huh. taken there to the holding facility uh -huh. where you are charged two thousand a day for storage uh -huh. you are taken to court uh -huh. where you are uh, you are fined around ten thousand shillings uh -huh. So if you take one week to get the ten thousand uh -huh. you add two thousand shillings per day uh -huh. So you'd rather have 5,000 on your phone mm -hmm. just in case you are detained. Oh, yeah. But while this is happening, there are border borders everywhere within the, in the CBD. CBD so we can never get the clear picture. Yeah. All right. Now, uh -huh. there comes the insecurity. Mm -hmm. The insecurity is there because these border borders, mm -hmm. that because now it's illegal, uh -huh. even the actual the border borders that are operating illegally cannot mm -hmm. Detain this cannot detain these border bo these uh, mm -hmm. illegal border borders mm -hmm. because if you detain yourself, mm -hmm. you are also illegal in town. Mm -hmm. So you and the criminal mm -hmm. end up behind uh, behind the uh, in cells. Mm -hmm. So this is the problem we are facing in the border borders. Uh -huh. And in the 14 seater mm -hmm. case of being faced out, mm -hmm. they are being faced out with a reason. Mm -hmm. Right now, even a 14 seater you rarely find it full to capacity having 14 seater mm -hmm. 14 passengers inside mm -hmm. go to Kencom. Mm -hmm. all these buses the ones that go up a hill where mm -hmm. you find there are 33 seaters most of them and 51 seaters mm -hmm. most of the seats are always unoccupied mm -hmm. so why are you telling us you want to bring a 100 seater bus mm -hmm. if a 14 seater is being auctioned by auctioneers mm -hmm. because the owner has been unable to pay it because uh -huh. of insufficient passengers uh -huh. because almost every Nairobi now owns a, a private vehicle. Uh -huh. So it beats logic. This uh -huh. is a white elephant. All right. Yes. Bits uh, all right. I get your point right there. Uh, but uh, the crit uh, there's a lot of criticism yeah. when it comes to the matato industry. Yeah. And uh, people uh, w will say the last uh, 90 years, yeah. if we date back to 1930s, we have been paying uh, for our matatu rides the same exact way for 90 years. So uh, there are claims that the matatu industry are not incorporating technology as much as they are supposed to if we compare to other developing nations uh, such as Singapore and uh, we have the likes of uh, other countries that are developing so uh, or developed countries rather. So uh, how is this new federation going to incorporate technology for ease in transport and at least incorporate the youth who are in these colleges who are studying uh, uh, technological courses? Uh, wh what I can tell you from that one uh -huh. is that we admit, uh -huh. as the owners of the vehicles, we dealt so much on making a profit mm -hmm. and uh, forgot mm -hmm. that uh, progress, pro there, yeah, there needs to be progress. Yeah. things like progress. Now that the cartels have stepped on our foot, mm -hmm. they've made us uh, be, be very much awake. Mm -hmm. We are uh, we are awake for we are out of slumberland now. Mm -hmm. And as a federation, mm -hmm. that now this is our professional body, mm -hmm. whereby we shall work we with government mm -hmm. in tandemly, mm -hmm. and we shall be able to do all these things that are needed. Mm -hmm. As long as we are working with government, mm -hmm. the cartels were there for their own uh, selfish interest mm -hmm. to malign their pockets, mm -hmm. and the the last resort was them going to Mombasa, mm -hmm. uh, sharing buses mm -hmm. uh, among themselves, whereby mm -hmm. they shared uh, five buses. The leaders, mm -hmm. those the leaders, the company is called the Regional Metropolitan mm -hmm. Transport. You have uh, the facts. Yes, mm -hmm. the company. I have been on uh, various TV shows mm -hmm. giving these. Uh, now I don't even carry. I have the pictures uh -huh. for Hinga Mwaura and his group of 18 persons, uh -huh. and the two that exited the company and we blew what was happening. Uh -huh. They were offered the four buses each. Uh -huh. This is Honorable Lucy Washuka, uh -huh. who is the treasurer of our 
a camp of our federation mm -hmm. and uh, there is Calvin Mr. Calvin Nyaure mm -hmm. who is the secretary general of our federation mm -hmm. they were both um, uh, members of regional metropolitan transport uh, company mm -hmm. which has uh, the directorship of uh, one kimutai mm -hmm. the matatu owners association chairman mm -hmm. jimar ibrahim mm -hmm. uh, and uh, simon bogua mm -hmm. uh, people like mount kenya uh, something karaoke mm -hmm. all, all, all those people and mm -hmm. another guy called gatogo mm -hmm. uh, karagasha mm -hmm. A group of they were 18 mm -hmm. so the two came out mm -hmm. and said no mm -hmm. you see the leadership the, the ones I've mentioned were being given five buses each mm -hmm. out of the 64 buses that are coming mm -hmm. and they were bought with Kenyan taxpayers money mm -hmm. so that they can support the face out mm -hmm. of the 14 seaters mm -hmm. support the face out of the border borders mm -hmm. hence create a market mm -hmm. for these uh, high capacity buses mm -hmm. but the question is if these buses were to come and the 14 seaters are there, mm -hmm. would they have relevance? What would be the use of having a 100 seater bus which only has 14 passengers, passengers. inside? Uh -huh. Read this money, and I'm requesting government. Uh -huh. This money, we have a lot of issues, bad roads, everything. Uh -huh. Let this money go to help those people. Mm -hmm. If it is a matter of decongesting the CBD, mm -hmm. I highly recommend uh -huh. the problem we have in Kenya mm -hmm. is lack of enough sufficient parkings. Mm -hmm. And if the intake of uh, private vehicles mm -hmm. is more than the parkings we have in the CBD, mm -hmm. why don't doesn't the government encourage mm -hmm. the use of public means? Mm -hmm. Because these pri public, uh, these PSVs do not park in the CBD. Mm -hmm. What they do is drop, pick, pick and go, go back mm -hmm. but these private vehicles are parking from six to six mm -hmm. you come from nakuru you get nowhere to park mm -hmm. so i'm saying this even in modern uh, modern countries mm -hmm. it is quite an expensive affair mm -hmm. to have a, a private vehicle mm -hmm. going into the cbd mm -hmm. so why does it the government why would anyone drop the parking fee to 200 shillings from 300 shillings mm -hmm. we are actually recommending mm -hmm. that the parking fee be taken to as high as 1000 kenyan shillings mm -hmm. and you will see the traffic flow this one that we have a rate of 50 to one private via uh, mm -hmm. one uh, 50 private vehicles to one matatu mm -hmm. it will drop to 25 mm -hmm. private vehicles mm -hmm. for every one matatu mm -hmm. and i can assure you Nairobi will be a place you can go mm. anytime because so there'll be no So that's your jam. solution for decongesting the city. Yes. Let's, uh, it is the promote. law of supply and demand. Mm -hmm. When the supply of any commodity is high, uh -huh. the, supply, uh, the price is low. Uh -huh. Now, the, uh, the supply of parkings is low. Uh -huh. The price has to be high. All right. Yes. Uh, it's basic why, why, economics. Why don't you go to eat uh, the <laughs> Serena every day? Because <laughs> it's expensive. Exactly. All right. So it's uh, uh, simple economics. Simple for economics. You. Why uh -huh. are we telling the government to use billions uh -huh. to create a lane for BRTs? Uh -huh. To use billions. While we know in Kenya right now we have more than 3.6 uh, private vehicles. Mm -hmm. And these are vehicles that uh, somebody can park at Kasarani. Uh -huh. Use, uh, pay 20 shillings. And come into the CBD, uh, mm -hmm. pay 50 shillings, come into the CBD, mm -hmm. pay 50 shillings and go back to Kasarani mm -hmm. or uh, there at uh, uh, almost the airport area, those ones. Mm -hmm. We have very big parking bays there, mm -hmm. park there, and right. it will be less costly. And we even save the Kenyan economy uh -huh. a lot of money. We use almost 5 billion on fuel. All right, so uh, yes. uh, the viewers have issues as well because yeah, okay. they are the they are stakeholders as well in the public transport system. They yes. use the the matatus, yeah. and somebody is asking. Uh, th this person is saying uh, they have been robbed in a matatu before, and uh, is he is not the only person because when he shared his story on Twitter, he had some other people who have had the same experience. So a matter of security is also here at hand, uh, telling somebody <laughs> who's driving their own personal vehicle with so many valuables on them to leave their car somewhere and take a matatu without the, the assurance of security is quite difficult. So what would you uh, tell us tell the Federation? Take, is, yes. Let me take, yeah. tell you my take on that. Insecurity is everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
even our private vehicles, even here in the CBD, we park them and we pay parking boys uh -huh. to look to to watch over them. Uh -huh. Because we might, if you don't pay those guys, you might find the side the side mirror is missing. Uh -huh. uh, private vehicles are being carjacked every day. Uh -huh. Actually, it's even uh, the carjackers uh -huh. avoid the matatus uh -huh. because there is a lot of traffic. There's a lot of people uh -huh. inside. They prefer the private vehicles. Mm -hmm. So on Matatus, this is uh, isolated cases. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's even safer. Mm -hmm. It's even safer. Even if you want to do a meeting mm -hmm. with somebody you, you don't uh, uh, think very highly of in, uh, in security-wise, mm -hmm. do you meet that person in your house or in the hotel? <laughs> you uh, meet that person in a public place? Yes. Yes. So, so the, 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 public public means the public means is safer. Uh -huh. Go to the police, and I can assure you, most of the car jackings and everything happen on private vehicles, mm -hmm. not in public. Powerful. So, yes. uh, as we come to to the end of this, uh, every whistleblower whistleblowers have something in common. They're always uh, scared for their lives. Are you scared for your life? Let me tell you, uh -huh. my brother. If I become scared mm -hmm. about my life because of these cartels and some few government officials that wish to make uh, f uh, 17 b uh, million mm -hmm. out of every bus mm -hmm. in 64 buses mm -hmm. and uh, there's a plan for another 900 buses mm -hmm. and i get scared mm -hmm. i assure you dead and kemathi will be roaring in his grave <laughs> he fought so that this republic uh -huh. we can be able uh -huh. to be have self-rule uh -huh. and we are, and be able to be free uh -huh. have freedom of speech freedom of expression mm -hmm. now if we fear for mm -hmm. these things, uh -huh. let me tell you, we will have uh, so, uh, thrown our country to the dogs. All right. As yeah. we wind up, a message from the Federation to the public as the chairman. I would like to thank uh -huh. all the people that in our, are in support of our Federation. I would like to give special thanks to honor uh, His Excellency Governor Waitito. He did a very, very nice job uh, bringing us together from various associations. And uh, I would I actually like also mm -hmm. to reach out mm -hmm. to Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko so that together we can work and uh, for the betterment of this Nairobi. And I'm sure together we can. Actually, mm -hmm. that is our slogan. Uh -huh. Together, we, we can. can. Together as the Matatu owners, as the operators, as, as the passengers the as well. As the Matatu and Boda Boda operators uh -huh. and our passengers. Uh -huh. And together we can, uh -huh. even with our gov government and county government. Thank you very much, Mr. Mushiri, for coming through. We appreciate you so much for what you're doing to the operators and the passengers as well, and your cause, and what you believe in. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Yes. I also appreciate you uh -huh. for calling us uh -huh. here so that we can be able uh -huh. to enlighten the uh -huh. Ken uh, Kenyans uh -huh. on what is happening. Right. But right now, you can take it to the bank. We are moving places, and we will make sure that we straighten this sector to the benefit of all Kenyans. Thank you, Mr. Mushiri, uh, the chairman of the Matatu and Border Border uh, Operators Federation of Kenya right here on Why in the Morning on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And we are just discussing uh, the future of the public transport and how does it affect you. If you'd like to inv engage us in a conversation, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook, uh, hashtag is Why in the Morning, hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday, or you can hit me up directly at It's by Morning, every social media platform. Joy Muchachi is coming up next with another amazing interview, so don't go nowhere.